Hello everyone, today I'll show you how to make custom TMX files. So, so yeah, I mean it's, it's very much possible, I knew it was possible for a while because Drift King be like. But uh, I did not know how to do it, but now I know and I'm gonna make a much simpler tutorial than his. So uh, in this video what I'll do is uh, I'll port these sounds here, this BRM underscore whatever the fuck. Because BRM this is used by the... BRT Oval Champ in uh, Burnout Paradise and it's basically just NASCAR I do have an engine sound, uh, I'm not sure what I'll do with that but uh, yeah we'll do something with the engine sound as well, I need a TMX for that but uh, that's not gonna be too hard to acquire, hopefully so let's first actually start off with the exhaust um, we have a... Uh, down here I've made one this is basically a copy of the one over here car 035, for now at least so uh, temporarily, well, well not temporarily, we're gonna now open it with uh, Hex Workshop. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it to be only 15 bytes shown, or 16 bytes shown. Let's that we have all of these here, values. So in this case we'll open the file called brm underscore ex underscore aco dot gin. As you can tell it's not very long, so basically it will be very very sh short one in this case. What we'll do is we actually in this case, as you can tell, here we have these values. You can actually um, uh, find where you're supposed to go with these values by doing this and separate them by four. And in this case, as Kito with the third Nick file, as it says here, but it's actually meant Jin, to be Jin. You have this value here in INT32 and new INT32. You basically copy this, you go to here, go to offset, and you enter that and you go there. But in this case, we're going to these SNRs. They are a little bit different, they start off, they have a specific pattern when they're starting off. More specifically, this pattern, 0400BB8020. It's not always like this, for the most part it is, but one thing that's always the same is the first value over here, so 04. Now, as you in this case, the specified string wasn't found. So I'll show you how it is on this car. So basically, we'll, on this sound, we're gonna go to this offset, there we go. And uh, we're gonna look through the bytes here. There it is. 04. This is where the SNR starts. 0400. Zero, zero. This is always the same. And the final one is also always the same. So it's always 20. So here we are at the SNR. Now look at the, the offset here. Data at offset. And then write down that number in any sort of TXT file. I just have this random ass one on my desktop. What you do is you, you look at it. I recommend like this, and you type down 896712 in this case, and you save it there. Then, uh, yeah, I'm watching Kuru. We got it. We're gonna open a. I'm in Bulgarian. We're gonna open up a calculator. We're gonna now replace it. So, as you can tell, we are at the beginning of the offset for the, uh, <coughs> for the SNR. And what you want to do is go up to where the gin here is because I put this byte here. This is part of the gin file. This is this starts to be as the SNR from here on out. So what you do is go up. In this case, I know it's like in the sixty something, six hundred something thousand range because I looked at the other byte for the the uh, gin twenty to show you. Then you select. I recommend holding down shift from that uh, offset up to here, here. And then you delete it. Then you go here and you select your entire thing here. You copy it and then you paste it. There you go. So now enter this new value, the offset, at the top. So now this one is 671952 in this case. Then you go into your calculator and you just plug these in and, and uh, divide them. Now keep in mind that if your number is bigger, add on to those... Uh, values that I showed earlier, which I'm going to show again. If it's in this case a lower number, divide. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this, clear for now, go all the way up, and we're going to go here to find the offset for the RNS, or SNR in this case actually. So this is the value originally, 895688. So what you want to do is enter this value here, 895688. And then divide by by this number here, which is the difference between these two. So, two two four seven six zero. And this is your new number. 
670928 in this case there we go we saved it so now it will direct to this one you'll be able to actually see the deceleration properly then for the next one we're gonna go and replace the deceleration sound actually so what we need to do is do exactly the same thing here there we go so when we do this it's still actually gonna show up at the same spot there we go it's actually exactly in the same spot so we're gonna erase this again we're just gonna write down the new the current uh, new offset i guess you can say which in this case is 630560 save it then uh, you can close this one you don't need it anymore just press close and open up your next one in this case it's the deceleration it's because this is how they're ordered on in this gen file and you have the previous one which this you the decel and the acceleration of this original sound file format c they're about the same length so i'm gonna guess it like 40 something it's gonna be maybe not maybe a little bit longer it's a little bit it's way longer it's actually at 30k but still select everything and then once again press delete and then go into here select all of this all of this control c control v there we go and enter your new offset now in this case we are dealing with very very short gene files so uh this is what's gonna happen so let's enter six three zero five six zero minus three four seven two six four and this is your new offset or new number that you have to divide from the original so again clear go all the way up and go to this one again like this and enter it here so in this case six two nine five three six minus two eight three two nine six okay there you go this is your new number just enter it here there we go saved the new number is saved now press save on this and it should work so let me show you what i mean but you can now close this you can either delete it or keep it i just keep it okay i fucked up apparently the number for the idol i was wondering why it didn't work yeah i know now i know why it didn't work let's actually just check it once more yeah there it is the snr here it is it's not actually that value it's actually this value here there we go just press save there we go just forget remember to do that if you're like me in uh, the thing isn't muted somewhat this is pure uh, ear rape the acceleration sound the bullying device is going to be just like this in game so but so now you can just plop it in here and just let's say an undercover or pro street or world and uh, you can go uh, edit this so let's say no you're gonna go into VLT edit and we're gonna change this so uh, so I was doing something else I'm gonna upload to a group later it's not for YouTube but yeah we're gonna copy in this case this node because this is the closest node to what we had so I'm gonna call it uh, nascar a just because why the fuck not it's like the sound we're using is basically from a nascar not quite but close enough so anyway after this i'm actually gonna go ahead and uh, make the engine version of this as well so uh yeah i'll see you in a bit so now that you are in uh, your game of choice in my case undercover go to the car that you actually changed so in my case i changed the new shelby cobra which should be right here there it is shelby gt 500 kr and in my case i actually made it the fully upgrade sound so i'm gonna have to do this i'm gonna have to make it the fully upgrade sound i just fully upgrade the car performance wise though not not any else not anything else so let's hear it for the first time if it works It does work, holy shit. That diesel though, holy fuck. If you remember from my previous video that I did on all of the sounds from uh, Burnout Paradise, you would know that the diesel for BRM is a little, let's just say strange. 
So I'm surprised it actually did this. Okay, let's actually go into a race this time. So that I don't have to worry about police cars or even traffic really. So there we are, in a race. We're gonna listen to this. I actually hope, I have muted it quite a lot in the background. I wonder if I hope this works well. I actually shut up, so uh... And up from now, up until like the one minute mark, or like something, I'll decide when to stop, I'll be not, I won't be talking, so uh... Okay. There we go, so that's what I wanted to show off. Now we can now you can just uh close your game, you know what, or whatever do. Whatever you wanna do. I actually entered this photo mode here with with no HUD just to make a funny ending for the video. Not funny, just a interesting, non boring ending for the video to the video. So uh that's basically the entire tutorial. There that's all you need to know. Just uh I will just warn you. There are some combinations which uh, actually make the TMX not function in any game other than Need for Speed World, which is very strange. Uh, you can that can happen if you use the same acceleration twice. Let's say if you're doing like this one, if I did the BRM acceleration twice, it won't work very well. So uh, that's that's why I didn't do it. And also uh, noticed with Need for Speed Rivals, more specifically. When you put rivals genes in TMXs, they they end up not only working in a uh, in world for some reason. I tried this out with uh, making the um, rivals LFA sound like make making it a TMX, but the only thing that happened is uh, it only worked in world, so uh, that was sad. Another one I tried to make the Aventador, however that one on also only worked in world because I I used the rivals acceleration and deceleration. Though I've noticed you can get away with one rival's acceleration. I noticed that while doing the LFA, I noticed one rival's acceleration you can actually get away with, but uh, anymore and uh, that's it. You cannot do anything more. So that's it basically. Uh, I hope you have a nice time modding and uh, I'll see you another time. Bye!